Yeah, take a look at shares of Sotheby's. I think we have those for you. Look at that, up 57%. Why? Well, Patrick Jahi, the multi-billionaire behind Altice, is going to be the owner of Sotheby's. The company is going private. Mr. Jahi is buying it. The price tag, 57 bucks a share in cash. It's about $2.7 billion equity value. This is not a particularly large company. It was about a $1.6 billion equity value, though, prior to this enormous premium uh, that he is paying for it. At another billion in debt, you get a total enterprise value of close to $3.7 billion. That's what they're using as their headline uh, this morning. Interesting deal, though, in the sense, of course, it's a well-known name. A number of years back, it had a big fight with the active investor, uh, Dan Loeb, who's been on its board since then. That's been years. It has not been, if you go back, particularly great performer uh, in that time. Uh, there had been a focus on digitization, on using more of their data, but it would seem, at least at Mr. Drahi's opinion, the company will be better served in private hands doing some of those key efforts, uh, of course, at Sotheby's. He says he's not going to change management. Um, he says he's making this investment for his family through his personal holdings with what he calls a long-term perspective. And importantly, for any public market connection here. No connection with Altice uh, Europe or Altice USA. It's going to be funded, he says, by uh, financings that will come from uh, uh, BNP Paribas. And he's also going to sell a little bit of equity in Altice USA. He points out, well, actually, they've been buying back stock at Altice USA, so I've gone up to 38 percent ownership. I'm only going to sell as much as 400 million in stock from Altice USA to help pay for this deal to acquire Sotheby's. Again, a very large premium. There were those who were in the stock, though, because they did believe there was some value there, value play perhaps, that uh, it was being undervalued, that they are not doing enough with data, that they are not doing enough digitally. We won't actually know any longer if uh, he's successful because it's going to be his problem now, and he's willing to pay for it. He's kind of an interesting guy, too. I mean, you've covered him over the years for, for building a telecom giant yes. and having, what, the controlling stake in the U.S., Altice. He, right. Uh, Altice enough. Europe no longer has that. They, there is not a connection between Altice Europe and Altice USA, but he is still the largest shareholder uh, in both, as you say. And, yeah, listen, I'd love to try to get him to do an interview, though, sir. He would never sit down and actually do an interview. He's a very interesting man. Um, I also read that now two French citizens own the two biggest art auction houses in the U.S. Christie's also owned by a very rich Frenchman, I think the founder of Caring, the luxury goods company.